Well, the 40th anniversary finale for Madison Ballet Turning Point premieres this Friday at the Overture Center. A nationally known ballet dancer and choreographer based in New York is the new artistic director of Madison Ballet. And that's this guy, Jean Malik, joins us, officially taking over the position in July. Welcome to Madison. Welcome to Live at Four. Thank you nice for to meet me. you. Congratulations. Nice to meet you Thank you very much. Job. First, let's talk about the performance on Friday. You choreographed one of the pieces. Can yes. You explain it to us. So, we have our 40th anniversary finale this weekend, Turning Point which is a celebration of 40 years of Madison Ballet with some really exciting program um, that includes a work of mine which is called Guitar Concerto by a brilliant composer named Oliver Davis. It's a small little piece just to introduce myself and my choreography to the Madison community. But the program is filled with a vast array of different styles of dance, of ballet primarily, but we're really in the vein of showing what we can do as far as where is ballet going. Very exciting. Well, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Well, I am from, how much time do you have? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am from New York. Um, I've um, been uh, in dance since I was four years old, and I started professionally when I was 16 with Cleveland Ballet and danced professionally for about 23, 24 years and recently retired about nine years ago. I know I look younger than <laughs> I seem, but yeah, it's been a long time and I uh, started choreographing around 13 and wow. I've just been enamored with ballet ever since I was little as far as I can remember. Can you, can you remember the moment when you saw it and went, that's absolutely. it? When, absolutely, when, when was I it? was 13 and I saw a production of the Nutcracker oh. in Cleveland and it was a guy on stage who looked just like me. Like if you saw a picture of us, you thought we were twins. And I said, oh my God, this is possible. Someone looks like me, I can actually do this as a career. And I never looked back from there. Really? Boy, is that yeah. a powerful, that's a very powerful <laughs> yeah, statement. Yeah, representation matters. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Tell us a little bit about your vision that you're going to bring to well, Madison. Speaking of representation, I think that's a part of my vision is to really show Madison and eventually the world that ballet is not just reduced to a certain specific people or socioeconomic background is for everyone. I come from very humble beginnings and I discovered ballet and fell in love with it and I believe that that can be universally shared with everyone and I want to create a company that shows the diversity that we live in in this world. You know, we want to have everyone feel like they're a part of something and dance is for everyone. You know? How is the, the art form changing? How, how has it changed? Oh my gosh, I mean, it's much more athletic. I mean, I was in an athletic period when I was dancing and it's even more athletic now. I was just explaining that when I try to explain to people who don't know so much about ballet, I ask them, do you like the Olympics? And they say, yes, I love um, gymnastics and figure skating. I said, well, then if you come to the ballet, you'll see that and more yeah. because you get the artistry along with the athleticism. These are some incredible artists who are just, you know, giving their all on stage, physically and emotionally. Superstars like Misty Copeland yes, sort of paved the way absolutely. for that. Absolutely. Yeah. She's a phenomenal dancer, phenomenal woman. She's a not a good friend of mine, but I do know her. We went to school together. Oh, actually, you're kidding! Years ago, American Ballet Theater School. We were um, in two different levels, but yeah, she's she's phenomenal and a wonderful, wonderful woman. You have to lure her to Madison. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in New York. This is going to yes. be a big cultural change for you. Yeah, but you know, I, the beauty is I have danced in companies all over the world and all over America. I've lived in rural cities, I've lived in very fast cities, I've lived overseas. So I have a vast experience of living in different kind of environments. So I like I like that challenge and I like to get to know new cities and this is one that excites me. So The weather is eh, but the, the arts, we love the arts absolutely. in Madison. So I think <laughs> really and the Overture Center is a spectacular it's venue. It's beautiful, yes. absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. I, I think Madison it. is better off that you're here, John. Thanks for being I, with us. I today. hope so and I hope everybody comes out and sees the show this weekend and next weekend because it's really something to see. And, Best of luck. And yes, thank you. And congratulations. congratulations. Thank you very here. much. I'm sure we'll see you again. I hope so. All <laughs> right. We'll have a final check here. Oh, oh. Let's see. Let's get the specifics here. The Ballet Turning Point runs March 25th through April 3rd at the Overture Center. For tickets, go to overture.org. Take care of business there.